Hey guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, chop samples and pitch them up or down in a way where it it be used in a um, say dubstep or trap song or any form of new electronic music where there's vocals chopped up and it's hard to hear what they're saying exactly but yet it's melodic it's that's what I'll be showing you today so if you just want to follow along the video and if you have any questions make sure to leave a comment and I'll answer them as best as I can so let's get started here what I have is just a basic Michael Jackson sample it's um, you can hear it back all you got to do is walk away and pass me right by. so that's all that is now before we begin I'm just gonna set this back to the tempo that it started on so here you can see that okay I've got I've got the original file and then what I've done right below it is I've actually chopped it up so what you want to go ahead and do is find the hot spots where you can hear the vocals so let's begin with there so you can see how it's definitely you know the phrases are a little more clear in this one so I can just go ahead and put one here put one here put one here put one here put one there 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 so all you're doing is basically just chopping it up in the little vocal spots where it's you know there's certain phrases being said so that when you are when you convert it into a sampler track it'll it'll sound like they're actually your the it, the the vocals are almost portraying a meaning which can be whatever meaning that you decide for it to be so even then it's going to be melodic so what you want to do right now it's all you know it's structured the way it is so if you want to put it into a sampler track so you can play around on your keyboard or your midi pad all you got to do is select all of these right click go to convert to new sampler track make sure regions are selected and there you go so basically this is this is one way of doing it it's the more um, effective kind of way to do it because it allows for a lot more uh, creativity as to where your vocals are being chopped up there's also another method like if we were to glue all of this back together right so that's all glued together now another option when, it, when it's already consolidated into one file what you can do is just go right click this is the fast method so what you can do is go right click convert to new sampler track go transient markers and it'll just identify itself wherever but again your workflow is a little more open when you cut it yourself either way it only takes a few minutes so here we go now you can hear that see now if I play this back it's all in MIDI but let's take that out for example and you can you can play around on the keyboard and here this is the one that I've chopped up myself so it sounds a little more cleaner as to what you can do with it see how you know uh, almost harmonic that sounds you can pretty much just play around until you find a melody you like and you hear this a lot in Skrillex songs and other sort of trap based songs where the vocals are pitched up and down on this one what you can actually do to get more of that trap sound once you've chopped it up is go to your pitch pitch shifter 2 and bring that down to about negative 5 to make it that little deeper voice and sense 50 mix 100 percent this way it sounds a little more unique as well and takes away from the original vocal so it makes it more of an original to you so basically that's it guys uh thanks for watching and if you have any questions make sure to post it at the bottom
and I will answer them. And remember to follow me on Twitter at Producer Tips with two S's at the end. And give Vicom Sounds a like on Facebook. I will do my best to stay more active on there. Thank you.